So we are now going to be discussing the gastrointestinal system. So there are four basic digestive processes for us to look at. We'll be discussing secretion, absorption, digestion, and motility. So when we look at this diagram, let's orient yourself first. And so the mouth, you can see where that is located, and the rectum and the anus. So basically you're looking at the GI tract from the mouth all the way to the anus. As food comes into the mouth and then it's mechanically and chemically broken down and as it continues to move through the GI tract, it's moving through the GI tract through the process called motility. And so motility, to define that for you, it's the propelling and mixing of the contents in the GI tract. So as those contents move through the GI tract, they're being propelled and as they're being propelled, they're also being mixed. Now, another basic process is called secretion. What secretion means, is, for example, is if you have a substance over here in the bloodstream, so this is our circulation, and if we have some sort of solute in the circulation, it can be secreted from the blood to the lumen of the digestive tract. So that is one means by which we can secrete. Now, you can also have secretion take place within the GI tract. For example, the stomach secretes hydrochloric acid, and so that would be secretion as well. The next basic process is digestion. When you think about digestion, digestion can be done via a number of ways. You can have mechanical breakdown of food. For example, when you chew your food or mastication, that's a mechanical process, and chemically. So if we're doing chemical digestion, that will involve enzymes. And we'll be discussing a lot of enzymes throughout this organ system. The last digestive process for us to talk about is absorption. And so what absorption means is we're taking some sort of solute from the lumen of the gut, and I'll put an X, and we're absorbing those into the bloodstream. So it can be quite the opposite of secretion. One of the examples of secretion is from the blood to the lumen, Absorption, we're going from the lumen of the GI tract to the blood. For example, when you eat sugar, okay, maybe you had a cracker for lunch, right, and it contained starch. Well, that starch then gets mechanically and chemically digested into glucose. So once you have glucose in the lumen of the gut, it needs to be absorbed into the bloodstream. What happens to it at that point? Well, remember, the glucose is going to enter into your cells, and the cells can use that glucose to make ATP. They can use that glucose to have some, a stored form of energy, right, and stored as glycogen. Or glucose could be converted over to fat as well. So this provides you a nice overview of the GI system, and this concludes this video.